Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video on WRC8. It's been over a month since the last WRC8 video and this is my last pre-recorded video. So after that I'll have to record more and more which is a bit more... Uh, not time wasting, uh, it's taking me a lot of time to record, like about two hours because I'm gonna sit there and record like three videos for that, three videos for SLRE, so it's gonna take me a while. And the problem is I've got so many studies and I'm, it's coming to an end, like June is very very close and June is like the first week of June I'm getting my, I'm sitting for my exams and these are pretty much the most important exams of my life. At that point, and things are getting harder, um, classes are getting tougher, and they're getting more and more and more, and I need to study more. So that's pretty much the conclusion. So sorry if the content is not as much as you wished for. Um, at the same time, you've been keep you've been watching my videos, and you've been actually enjoying a lot SLRE. So I'm gonna be making a career mode on that very very soon. As soon as I find time. I'm gonna try and post WC8 and probably SRLE, but um, the problem with that is that I don't have time. I've literally don't have any free time at all, and as much as I really want to boost more and be like promoting my content more and creating more for you, because you've been supporting me like crazy and you deserve the content, but I'm really sorry, I hope you understand, and that after june then everything is going to be back to normal and i could even do daily uploads i'm not even joking daily uploads are going to be a thing on this channel after june because i've decided to take youtube a little bit more seriously due to your support like without your support nothing would be possible and i would have never made that choice but now that things are getting better and my stats are better and i'm enjoying a lot what i'm doing at the moment then for sure i'm going to be continuing YouTube and um, yeah as you can see firstly we not we've not ended a rally yet and first of all we had a maintenance uh, mission sort of and uh, in order to improve the maintenance of the car I think it's called and now we're having an extreme conditions event it's actually part of an objective that's why I'm trying to do as many of those as I can and they're actually very enjoyable and very enjoyable to watch. I feel, I feel like they really test your driving skills on that. Just about made it. I actually broke there uh, for some weird reason. I thought that would actually turn onto that. But event succeeded. First try. Germany. Extreme conditions. And that's also 12k in the bag. And uh, getting ready now for the Argentinian rally I think we've got for this one. I'm going to be doing a little bit work here with my crew. Getting the best possible crew members and we're gonna be ready for this rally um, hoping that I can win last time in Argentina on the WRC 2 season let's just say it wasn't really the best effort we pretty much lost out everything on the final power stage um, after having a 20 second gap or something like that this time round the actual ES stage which is gonna be also a power stage we're going to be having it twice because of three days on this WRC season. But um, yeah, this is Argentina, probably the toughest rally. Uh, after actually driving a lot throughout there, it hasn't been the toughest of rallies to be honest with you. So I've actually find it not so challenging. So remember what back when I said this is probably the hardest stage ever and uh, it's probably one of the reasons this is better than Dare Rally 2.0 I've been getting a lot of hate for saying WRC8 is better than Dare Rally 2.0 I still believe that it is a better overall, overall experience a game don't know but as a whole experience this game I feel like it's better of course the content that Dare Rally has to give is more and you've got more choices you've got more variety in terms of cars and everything but I feel like the WRC cars on this one and the physics are actually very good and the cars feel very nice. Of course there's still room for improvement on this game, like it's got some huge negatives like um, the physics when you are on two wheels and also there's been people doing some constructive criticism on the game instead of just saying it looks shit or something like that. So thank you a lot for comments because I've been learning more and more negatives about this game. 
and after noticing the negatives on their rally 2.0 I can tell you that this game also has a lot of negatives so I feel like both games are good you need to buy them both they're both enjoyable you will enjoy them both just that in, in my opinion and the first stage here in Algedina has started off quite well a green first sector and uh, this stage I actually really like Algedina it's got some very nice stages but overall I feel like the hardest rally on this uh, calendar is a Turkish one I feel like Turkey has to be the toughest rally or oh, it's probably because I haven't driven at all in Turkey like Turkey I haven't tried it at all and it's gonna be our first time around there on a WRC car I bet things are not gonna go well there you need to be very cautious and everything plus I haven't played the game in over a month so the next episode I don't even know how good I'm gonna be like I haven't driven on this game for a month or so remember when I did eSports in Monte Carlo where yeah, that was a thing I finished like in the top 20 which was pretty cool to be honest uh, considering I had no actual training for the eSports event just my pure experience from the game and uh, the career mode pretty much training I've had and I finished like in the top 30 top 20 something like that so I was actually very happy with the results and probably next year which I'm gonna be having more free time I could go into esports or try something like competitive racing on F1 games or F Factor 2 something like that I'm gonna be doing some competitive racing in the near future but on this first stage we had a very very good stage not dominant but 6.1 seconds ahead of Neville 7.1 ahead of Tanek 7.8 ahead of Ogier who is gonna be in fourth position so very good so far very good start to the Argentinian rally now on to the second stage once again a pretty sort stage uh, seems like a reverse of the previous one I'm not gonna be very honest with you on this one but it's another stage that I've actually driven I feel like it's the first part of the ES stage so yeah I remember this very well so, yeah, it's a this this is a rally that I've actually driven throughout uh, plenty of time so that's probably one of the reasons it seems pretty easy to me nowadays but Turkey is gonna be a real challenge when we go to Turkey the Turkish episode that's gonna be a real deal and that's a mistake right here for you <laughs> and that was actually just slightly slightly breaking a little bit later you see like slightly breaking later can pretty much destroy that run I bet we're gonna be having a red sector on this one but well, things could go even better on two wheels here for a little bit. By the way, this is one of the reasons I'm making this video very long. It's like a 30 minute video. That's why I'm making it so long because I can't really post way too often and I just want to give you more racing if that's if that makes sense, but because probably the videos are not going to be that many until June. Uh, that's the reason that I want to have longer videos so that you're going to enjoy them more. Because a lot of you have been saying, please leave more racing on the videos, play more recordings from the from the stages themselves and all that. And that's a very close call right here from the top three. Oja is nowhere to be seen once again. Latvala and Sunin ahead of him. But 16 thousandths of a second behind Neville and only three tenths ahead of Tanak. That was a very, very close one. I can't lie. Look at those. Look at those splits. If I would have... I lost so much time on the second sector. If I wouldn't have lost so much time on the second sector, then we would have won this one. But still, overall, we're first leading the Argentinian rally going into day two. This is the day that we're having an E stage and another sort stage. Uh, we can't fully repair the car due to that um, 
uh, objective which says something about uh, having 42k on repairs in the next rally so overly I shouldn't spend over 42k so that's why I'm a little bit conservative with the repairs doing as much as needed so that the car is drivable and it's not gonna break down pretty much that's all about it um, away we go for day two this is not the ES stage as you can uh, see the next stage is gonna be the ES stage and also gonna be night time this is gonna make things even harder for me uh, so just saying the ES stage is the part of this rally that the AI is very fast and it's also the part where we struggle to keep up with the AI so I need to do very well here on this one in order to extend my lead so that we're not gonna actually miss out on the first position before day three. Caution, don't cut. Right five narrows 50. Break for right six into left five tightens into right. That was the closest call I've ever had. It was crazy. You saw I hit the back there and I don't know. I was just lucky there. No driving skills at all. Right five long, tightens four, keep in. And left four for right one and flat right. Into right five and flat left. Caution, right three break into bridge, very narrow. I love these bridges, they're so narrow, I'm still saying it, you know, a lot of you have been criticizing me on Should I buy WRC8 because of the narrow bridges? Yes, you should, I mean like I love those bridges, for, for fuck's sake, I fucking love those bridges uh, States has been so far pretty good, apart from that second sector uh, Into the final sector now, final corner A few slow ones here with a few hairpins here and there very narrow there co-driver can't stop saying Titans now another right hander and we're gonna be making it across the finish line a 5.18.6 it's gonna be 7.7 .7 seconds ahead of Tanak and 16.8 ahead of Neville Oze is back into the podium positions on this stage with a 10.3 second gap Overly, that means we're 26 seconds ahead of Ozzy, 22 ahead of Neville, and 15 seconds ahead of Tanak. Last time we had such a gap was um, back in the WRC2 Pro season, where we actually lost out on the rally because of that ES stage that we're driving now at this moment. And um, I'm just hoping this is not going to be the same case. I mean, this time we got a third day where we could fix things up. So this is not our last effort. So I'm not going to be conservative in this one because after this we've got um, a motorhome, uh, which uh, we're going to be repairing the, the car pretty much. So I can actually push as much as I want. And yeah, just give it my everything so that we're not going to miss out on first position. But, you know, we could maintain it. We could like... I could reduce the gap or I could extend the gap, you never know. So let's just see what happens. Left four into right two to right three. And left three tightens into right three. Into left four tightens into right three, 100. Caution left one, long, don't cut around, rock 30. Right three into left three, short 30. Right two open, don't cut, into right two, short and left four, tightens. Into right three, short, don't cut. And right three into left five. Into right four, narrows, don't cut into left two. Into left five, very long, tightens around rock. Right five, Titans 150. Left five, rock in 80. Right five long, keep in 80. Left four, 150, bumpy. Left five, hard break 20. Right two around rock. 
You might be wondering why I was so cautious throughout there, even though I just got a uh, green sector. I was very cautious because I was like thinking, wait, I got that gap. Imagine making a huge mistake and losing all that time and pretty much losing first position. I was like, even if I lose this stage, it doesn't mean, it doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to be out of going to be losing the first position so that's why I was a little bit cautious there uh, even though here on the straights I'm going to be trying and push as much as I can still don't want to make a mistake but I just want to be conservative on this one if I can be honest if, to be honest so as to maintain the lead or just lose it for like a couple of seconds instead of like being outside of the top three how did I make this mistake? It's the places that you don't expect that happen to be so, so tough for you. And right four Titans and left two long. Into right four to... And left three open and Titans don't cut. Into right five, Titans. A flat left into right four. Keep in and left four, Titans. Rock out to 30. Caution, hairpin right, 80. Left four, keep in and caution. Right six into the canyon narrow. Break right three into left six long. This is the narrow section where it actually gets pretty tough, but doesn't last for a long time. And around this final couple of uh, corners now, everybody remembers this part. This this fast left hander. A complete complete understeer. Probably a suspension is giving us uh, some issues because it's actually red so suspension is broken that's one thing we gotta fix I'm gonna go full throttle through there a 10.28 it's not that bad yeah it's not that bad it's not that bad we've lost out on the lead but only for a couple of like seconds only about two seconds or something not that bad but as you can see after sector 5, sector 9 was the, the sector where we lost a lot of time, around 8 seconds and 3 seconds on sector 8 and sector 7. So these were the parts where we lost a lot of time. We need to bear that in our mind, to keep that in our mind for the next time we're going to be driving on the E stage. Now the gap is only 2.8 from Tanek. We're still ahead from Neville, uh, even though he beat us on um, the E stage. But... Still, I feel like a good um, a good stage, a good first stage on day three, and the same sort of performance and slightly improved on the year stage. I feel like we could make this and improve massively and probably win this rally. But I've repaired my suspension, which was the main part that caused these issues. Everybody knows this stage. We are we traditionally do well here. And I'm, this is pretty much, I'm betting everything on this. This is the stage where we need to gain as much time as we can on Tarnak. Regain first position and build a safe gap. So that we're not going to be having a lot of issues. And we're going to be quite safe going into the ES stage. I can't be safe saying considering that I've just wasted a 17 second lead. But it's the reverse ES stage, which uh, is actually slightly better for me. So, yeah, we just have to wait and see. I can't really do anything. I'm just going to drive at my best level and trying to win this rally. That's all I'm going to say. But just saying, I'm not going to be any cautious at all going to the next ES stage. I'm just going to give it everything I got in order to win this rally and take all the five points from the power stage. But so far so good. Tanak is on our right hand side, so it's pretty stressful to to notice. But I feel like I'm driving well. I've had so far two green sectors. So yeah, quite well for the time being, but that doesn't mean that the, the result can't be changed. Into right 
the right three, short, open over bump. Into left five, tightens three. Into left five, into caution, crest, into right three, into dip. Into right five, into left four, tightens over crest. Into right four, short over crest. Right three off camber over crest. Keep into left two. Open. He's still side by side, so he's having a very good time so far. He's probably not far away from me. He could even win this one. If he wins this, then chances are we're going to be losing out on the Argentinian rally. But so far, the sectors proved that I'm faster than him. And going into the final sectors now. This is the final corners. I'm on the final sector. I can still see that he's on my right hand side, but I've got to push now through those final corners. I know this path very well. I can take the perfect line through here. It's a very good line. Over the bridge, left hander now. Full throttle across the finish line at 4.28.3. Pretty decent time, and that's going to be 6.5 seconds ahead of Ottanak and 9.7 ahead of Neville. Probably securing second position going into the final stage. Now, we're currently first. We regained first position 3.7 seconds ahead of Tanak. Neville is behind of us 18 seconds. So second position is secured. It's all about me and Tanak fighting for the first position here. Unless something drastically changes and Neville completely dominates both of us. So... I can't really I can't really say what is gonna happen it's a very long stage no one knows what's gonna happen no one knows what kind of pace never was hiding and no one knows how good Tanik is gonna be driving around here or even how good I'm gonna be driving through here but I'm gonna be trying my best I'm gonna be pushing much more than the previous effort I had on the ES stage plus this is the reverse one which I'm actually better on somehow uh, the reverse one seems to be favoring me a little bit more but enough talking more driving let's just try and give it our best shot now right five keep it to left five into flat right and left six tight break into right four and right four three in into left six break through water and crest into left four tightens house in into right four, keep in 30. Caution, right three, keep in short and hairpin left 30. Hairpin right and left three, keep in. Into right four, 50. Caution, danger square left, narrows, keep right through, gate 50. Left one, 80. Right five, tightens four, short into dip. And right four, keep in, and left four, tighten. And right five, 50. Left four short, and right four short, tightens, keep in. And left five, tightens over crest, 80. Left five, medium, caution. Arrows into right six, hard break for him in left. Into him in right, and right four, keep in, break. Left six short, 100. Rock out, into right five, over crest, keep in, don't cut, 100. Left six, 100. Right six, 80. Flat left, 120. Hard break for crest into square left, 120. Went a little bit over the limit there on the top speed and missed the braking zone, but don't think that's going to cost us a lot of time, uh, if I'm being honest. I've just run it slightly wide. I've had three very good sectors, so previous one and this one not really going to change a lot. That was a bad one. I completely lost the back end of the car there. Another bad sector. Depends on how much time I've gained and how much time I'm losing at the moment. So 
I don't really know anything. Right. Left one, very narrow, and right two, open. Into left four, short. Now onto the technical part. I've had a green sector, and now we're on the very narrow part. Goss, we're going over a breach there. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. I love driving around this stage. So amazing. Another bridge now onto the left. And we're gonna be just about getting the perfect lines there. It's just crazy. Imagine getting a red sector out of this. Slightly wider. Let's see, is it a good sector? It must be. Like I've had perfect lines through there. It's not. I had a had a bit of a suspension there that this was not going to be perfect but two more sectors to go uh, 3,000 meters to go that's quite a lot in rallying still got a high chance of winning those five points but it's more about the rally so trying to get that victory 25 points I don't really care about the rest but of course five points would really help us out in driving standings Right five and flat left. Caution, right three, break into bridge, very narrow. Into right four. Fucked up and also... Um, that's one of the negatives that the game has. Um, you pretty much bump into a rock and everything just takes damage. Engine, wheel, turbo, the transmission, everything and... I don't really want to show any footage out after that because after that the car just didn't feel the same as it did in the first part where we had some green sectors and it was just not driving very well. We've had that contact here on the at the end and are we gonna win actually? Uh, we are. Tanek just Tanek just had a terrible day and I've only just lost out 3.4 seconds of Neville. Uh, it's gonna be three points out of the power stage, but Thank you, Tanak, for making more mistakes than me, I guess. I mean, the damage that I had was on the final sector, sort of. So, he didn't really uh, change up the results or anything. But that's going to be a victory. 5.6 seconds ahead of Tanak, 14 ahead of Neville, 37 ahead of Fozier, who's once again going to be outside of the podium positions. It's another win. It's another victory on the WRC8 Kareem on our return to the game. And uh, yeah, five seconds ahead of Tanak. I wasn't expecting that. Even that final mistake though in the final corner, I was like, okay, that is going to cost me the victory. I'm going to bottle it again. But somehow Tanak lost more time. I can't really understand how that happened. But now, as you can see, driver standings only three points behind of Ot Tanak as we're going into Shile. Or yeah, that's probably Shao. I don't really know how we pronounce that. But yeah, I'm actually very fast around Shao. Uh, very fast corners. Like a Finland sort of. But yeah, it's a little bit more enjoyable in my opinion. Shao, just the cars are flying there. So you know, if we win the next rally, then we could even be first going into the, into the driver standings after the next rally. So you know, very close into it. Uh, could we win our first WRC title? title on our first season if I achieve that then I'm probably gonna be continuing the career mode and probably drive for Ford or something I'd l I would love to drive for Ford on a career mode again because we haven't we haven't had the chance to do so for a very long time so I'm gonna try and do that uh, last year we drove for Toyota this year for Hyundai could I do another season in this one probably yes I feel like I could after June but uh, five resource points out of that very appreciated highly appreciated game um, I'm gonna be spending a few on the team I haven't uh, improved it a lot uh, on the performance as well uh, as you can see the tires and all I'm gonna be improving the anti lag system uh, I've got two more resource points let's just do um, puncture proof yeah I feel like puncture proof is very important because we've had plenty of punctures uh, in the career mode and we've got one more that I'm going to be using on uh, the Rally Rewards. Okay, so that's done with the resource points. Uh, of course, going to be repairing uh, 
paying those rep those repair costs and we've also achieved that objective with the repair so nicely done by me uh toyota is interested in me uh probably not going to be going to toyota because we drove for them last year citroen is interested citroen could be a nice option i'm gonna leave hyundai by next season so it's either gonna be ford or citroen the problem with citroen is that i don't really like the way the car drives so yeah <laughs> it's just about getting a manufacturer challenge by ford unfortunately i'm not gonna be with teams midway through the season i'm gonna stay humble i'm gonna be humble and not moving teams i'm gonna stay with hyundai for the rest of the season and try and win the championship with them after that we could probably uh, higher the difficulty go into the realistic one which is just not beatable in some occasions and probably move to ford but if we win this championship i'm probably going to be considering moving on to realistic to make this even harder it, but realistic is just above my driving skills i'm just saying that i need to actually train for that i need to play that game more in order to beat the realistic ai but uh that's it for today guys if you enjoyed smash the like button please support me i know that i don't deserve your support because of the lack of, of content but it's until june after june it's all gonna be fine i'm tr just trust me like those exams are very important i need to do well but yeah don't forget to subscribe and reach those that 1k we're very close to that 1k remember two years ago on the same day we had 300 subscribers now we have 969 subscribers going for that 1k so yeah thank you a lot for that i can't really thank you enough but um yeah until next video guys i'm gonna catch you later goodbye ladies and gentlemen this is the big moment we've all been waiting for ladies and gentlemen ladies and gentlemen place your turntable in front of your guests yeah. set the volume control in your stereo system at the preferred listening level ladies and gentlemen beat rock beat beat rock